In this video, I will show you how to farm the Sanctum airdrop step by step. I'll be showing you the airdrop university method, which is essentially what we do inside of our private community uh, to farm this airdrop for a five or six figure allocation. Just to give you an idea, we've covered over 130 different airdrop opportunities since March 2024 alone. So if I've managed to make like four videos for YouTube in the same amount of time, uh, this is just to give you an idea as to how much more we cover inside of our community. So if you're interested in finding out more, head over to airdropuniversity.com. And without further ado, uh, let's jump straight into how to farm Sanctum. All right, guys, now let's look into how to farm Sanctum, which is a very easy uh, way to, to essentially earn yield on with liquid staking tokens in the Solana ecosystem. So we go to sanctum.so, we click on launch app, we connect wallet, and I'm using the same brand new wallet as I've used in the previous video. There are three pillars to this airdrop. Uh, it's very simple, let's take it step by step. Initially, if you're brand new to Sanctum, you want to obtain a referral code. The reason why is because if you do that, you're, you'll start stacking points quicker. It'll give you additional boost on your uh, in your airdrop farming process. In case you have uh, some referral code already, please feel free to use that. In case you don't, uh, feel free to use mine. It's on the screen. And that's the first step that you should do before you start farming Sanctum. So if you look at the uh, ranking, you can see that this is a brand new wallet and without doing anything, we are currently on in the 265th thousandth plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking good, but bear with me. So quickly looking at the dashboard, you see that uh, this is the total points that we have accumulated. This is the amount of cupcakes we have, and uh, this is the amount of pets we own. So the points that we have up here, that's related to the uh, liquid staking tokens that you hold and following different quests and uh, you know you being subject to different multipliers that they that Sanctum has on offer at the moment. I'll explain everything uh, further down in the video. The cupcakes that, that uh, ties into the referral bonuses, you can see here, um, you know, the more people you refer, the more cupcakes you'll earn. And pets owned, that refers to the different LSTs that they have on the platform. So let's look into that. So you can see it here. So essentially what you need to do is, in an ideal case, you wanna buy every single one because Again, the more pets you own, the more um, tokens you hold, the more you use the platform, the everything counts towards the uh, the farming of the points. So the first step was the referral code, uh, and the second point is uh, the different pets that you can own, right? That's the second pillar. If you wanna farm this hard, go ahead and purchase all of them if you can, or as many as you can possibly afford. Currently, Sanctum has a 24-hour 2x multiplier on these five LSDs. That means if you hold any of these five or all of them, you'll get double uh, the amount of points for these 24 hours. So let's buy one of these pets for now. By the time this video is out, there may be a different list of pets that you need to own for a different multiplier. So in case you don't wanna buy all 18 pets at once, and you wanna max out the amount of points that you farm, go to Sanctum's Twitter and check for any updated list of pets that currently have a multiplier bonus. So if you click here, you see that you need to hold at least 0.1 compass soul in your wallet in order to hold this pet. So we are gonna do exactly that. Okay, now we've crossed the 0.1 threshold. We're gonna buy compass soul. Okay, so now we just confirm the transaction. Now before this gets approved, I just wanna say this. As you can see, buying a single pet the, the minimum threshold for us to earn any points is 18.55. And the Sanctum token, as we can have a look here, is steadily growing. I mean, that has a little bit of a pullback, but it seems to be really hyped a project. You can see 400 million in, in total market cap. And the fully diluted market cap is 400 million as well, which is incredibly healthy if that is actually the case. So if you believe we're currently still before the big parabolic move that everybody expects, you shouldn't really think twice about allocating portion of your holdings into this project and buying all these different pets. Okay, so that's completed now, which is incredible. And now we have our own first 
pad. It seems to have gone through. Now let's double check it here. It still isn't reflected here. Uh, so we have to wait a little bit longer. And now we can go to the third and final pillar of this airdrop, which are the community quests. So as you can see here, the first quest has already been finalized. Uh, it says here, the quest is completed by the community and re the reward has been distributed amongst all the people that participated. So that means we can move on to quest number two. Here I'll help you out by telling you that the answer to the quest is even Star Cathedral. You can click on check answer. Okay, and we've completed the quest. So let's move on to quest number three. The answer to quest number three is Gloam Tide, as you can see on the screen. So we check the answer again. Hooray, we've completed quest number three. We're gonna move on to quest number four. Oh, and, and what I forgot to mention is with all these different quests, you get two X multipliers on different uh, pets for one day. So if you, as I've just finished this quest number three, you would want to make sure that you have Juicy, Lent, Lanterny, and Poey in your wallet uh, for this quest to give you an additional multiplier for the quest. So I'll use the remaining funds that I have in the wallet to purchase these uh, after this. So here with quest number four, we see that we will have a 2x multiplier on Drifty, Hubi, and Vaulty, and super fasty. <laughs> The answer to quest number four is, as you can see on the screen, we're going to check the answer. Hooray, we've completed the quest. And so again, now that I've completed quest number four, we want to make sure that we get Drifty, Hubi, and Vaulty, and Super Fasty in our wallet, in our collection, so that we get the 2x multiplier to farm for an additional uh, amount of points so that you get the biggest amount of allocation. Self-explanatory again. And then... Currently, they have released a brand new quest, which the reward will be released on the 29th of May, which is in a couple of days. I currently do not have the answer, but by the point I do, I'll add it into the description of this video. So if it's not there yet, come again tomorrow. So last final bonus step essentially for this airdrop is to get some INF token and then deposit the INF into a different platform. Uh, what that's going to do is, A, it's going to give you additional points for this airdrops because you hold INF. And by depositing the INF into a different platform, you will be able to farm a different airdrop, for example, with Camino or MarginFi or some other DeFi projects in the Solana ecosystem. So, so here quickly, we're going to swap some Sol for INF. We're going to deposit it into the liquidity pool. Uh, wait for it to fetch and it's been completed. So now we're going to go to Camino and here we can deposit the maximum amount. And by doing that, we'll start earning points on Camino as well as on Sanctum. So two birds with one stone, you're making yourself eligible for multiple airdrops by completing this extra step. And as you can see, the deposit succeeded and that concludes the guide for Sanctum Airdrop uh, and I hope you liked it. As easy as that. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like I said again, million times, if you would like to get these airdrop opportunities served up on a silver platter every single day, head over to airdropuniversity.com and I hope to see you in the next one.